$2,000 a day planting seeds? I figured it out. If you plant 10 seeds per day, you earn $2,000 a day. The seeds cost one cent each. Germination takes a week, and in 30 days they could be four inches tall and worth a dollar. But suppose you don't sell them for a dollar, and you're forced to plant them in your garden. What are they worth? The USDA says that the average tomato plant gives the average person an average of 10 to 15 pounds of tomatoes. But Charles Wilbur in Alabama made it into the Guinness Book of World Records by obtaining 1,368 pounds of tomatoes from just four plants, or 342 pounds of tomatoes per plant. Do you believe it? He says that a bad year is just 100 pounds of tomatoes per plant. Ha! <laughs> now, if you get 10% of that, the USDA says you're average. Maybe the USDA wants to discourage us from growing our own food. Maybe the USDA is trying to promote Monsanto. Do you think government would lie to you? Ha! A lady in San Francisco said she got 2,700 tomatoes from one plant. I looked up the average weight of the tomatoes from that plant, and 2,700 tomatoes weighs about 118 pounds. She has 33 tomato plants on her almost quarter acre, and her crop was 11,000 tomatoes. She favors cherry tomatoes. If her top producer gave her 118 pounds, what did her second top producer give her? I think it was 85 pounds. Let's be very, very, very conservative and just use 10 pounds, since the fascist government gave us a figure of 10 to 15 pounds. What is the value of 10 pounds of tomatoes? Do you want today's price or the runaway inflation price of 90 days from now? Is the Federal Reserve counterfeiting money? Yes. Will that cause inflation? Of course. Will the price of one tomato reach $1,000? Yes, of course. That's what happened in Zimbabwe. Welcome to the United Zimbabwean States of America, the land of the thief, the home of the slave. You're going to pay $1,000 for a tomato, just wait and see. Now, how about growing your own? Plant 10 seeds a day. I'm estimating that you'll earn $2,000 per day by doing so. And here's how I get that number. You plant 10 seeds at a cost of one cent each. In a month or so, they're four inches high and have a value of a dollar because they have the potential of producing $20 worth of tomatoes in about 60 days. Tomatoes mature in 85 days, roughly, if you're growing beefsteak tomatoes, and all others mature sooner. We used up 30 days to get to a height of 4 inches, and there are only 55 days left, but I'm using 60 because I'm trying to be conservative. Conservative means overestimating all your costs and underestimating all your returns. I didn't mention cloning, did I? You can clone each plant from the cuttings, and each cutting can produce another tomato plant. If you're excessively greedy and too cheap to wait 30 days for the seed to reach a height of 4 inches, nature loves to prosper, and all you have to do is help it. Those cuttings do not want to die, and if you put them in the right soil and give them enough moisture and sunlight, they will go on living and each can produce tomatoes for you. Now, what's a one cent seed worth after a month? A dollar. That's a hundred times what you paid for it, right? Can you turn that into a percentage? Most Americans can't, so let me do it for you. Any number can be converted into a percentage by multiplying by a hundred and then putting a percent sign after it. A hundred times the starting amount is 10,000% growth of that penny. That's in a month. Bernie Madoff went to prison for getting his investors 8%. 8% annually, not per month. So if you make 10,000% per month, where will you be a year from now? In prison, right? Don't worry, this isn't a Ponzi scheme. Bernie Madoff was running a Ponzi scheme. This is just a garden and nobody else is involved. You don't need anyone else. You can plant 10 seeds each day without help. It's easy. A seed germinates with heat and moisture. No sunlight. 
A seed germinates with heat and moisture, no sunlight. Sunlight comes later when you have leaves to receive the sunlight and begin making sugars from carbon dioxide and water. You reach a height of four inches and you have a value of a dollar. At this point, you have two choices. If someone sees your plant and says, I think this plant will give me $20 in tomatoes in two months and I'll be happy to pay you a dollar for it, will you sell? You can say, yes, I will, or no, I want to make the $20 myself. I don't know which is the best road to take. You can take the fiat currency and put it in the bank and watch it melt like an ice cube on a hot day. Or you can stick with real money, the tomato plant, and hold out for $20 in tomatoes. If you take the cash and buy silver, you might be okay. Not because you have real money, the silver, but because you made 10,000% in a single month. That kind of growth rate will make you a trillionaire in just seven months, starting with a penny. That's all. If you want to quit in the sixth month with just $10 billion, you can. There's no gun to your head like there is with the Social Security system. They make you pay in for 40 years, and after all that, they pay you back with cheaper dollars, and you don't even get all your money back. Some investment, that is, and you can't get out of it. If you try, you go to jail, like Bernie Madoff, who was a crook. You're a crook because you don't want to play the Ponzi game. How do you like that? Okay, where are we? We planted the seed. It cost a penny. Now we have an offer for a dollar, and we're trying to decide. Take the dollar and go to prison? or trade it all for what's behind door number three. Suppose you decide to hold out for $20 worth of vine-ripened tomatoes. Is that the worst of all possibilities? I don't know the future. The fascist government could come to your house and smash your garden and take all your silver and put you in one of those 1600 FEMA concentration camps and then ship you off to Denver to the gas chamber. As soon as there is life, there is risk. General Douglas MacArthur said, There is no security in the world, only opportunity. So take your dollar and try to convert that fiat currency to real money or just stay in the tomato currency where your money wants to grow at 10,000% per month. Would you rather have a dollar in pennies or a dollar in seeds? You get 1,467 seeds for $1. There are $7.50 for an ounce, and there are 11,000 seeds in an ounce. Do the math. Are you better off with 100 pennies, which will not grow, or 1,467 seeds, which will grow if you give them moisture and heat? Plant 10 seeds daily, and you get back $2,000 a day, but only if you sell. And you can't clone, because cloning screws up my figures. If you clone each one of these plants, you could get 100 times as much, $200,000 per day instead of $2,000 per day. If inflation drives up the value of your crops, then you get even more. I don't predict the future. I'm just looking at the past and discovering some interesting possibilities that might come in handy for someone who is fighting the inflation battle. If you don't have yard space to grow tomato plants, what do you do? You might have to call your neighbors and have them grow your clones and split the crop. Will they all play fair? I doubt it. If some play fair, will you do it again next year? Maybe you will. It certainly makes sense to play ball again if it was successful the first time around. If you give an old lady a four-inch plant that you cloned from another plant and she can't buy food or medicine with her socialist security check, are you going to deny her food? Let her have her medicine and your tomatoes, and if she needs more plants, give them to her so she can eat. The government isn't going to take care of her. They hope she dies less to pay out in Social Security. This woman is a burden to those who'd rather spend the nation's money on wars and invasions so they can make a killing selling arms. I don't like what government does, and that's why I'm telling you about this 10,000% per month investment. I hope you feed the entire block of old retired folks, and one day when you're old, you will either have a lot of silver or a lot of seeds, and you won't starve. I doubt that you will have Social Security, and if it is still around, what will the check buy? Bread? Bread will be $100 a loaf. Beef will be $500 per pound. 
I'm not guessing, I'm just extrapolating quantitative easing today, inflation tomorrow. If you hold your wealth in seeds, you can grow it without banks. The IRS probably won't seize your 4-inch plants, and if they want to take the mature tomato plants, let them. They'll have to transplant them and water them, and I don't think the IRS wants to work that hard. It's easier to seize someone's bank account or take their RVs, motorcycles, boats, cars, and houses. If you don't have any money in their banks, you can tell them, seize this. There are lots of reasons to hold your pennies in any real currency, like tomatoes, and preferably one that the IRS won't seize. But growth is the main reason that I'm advocating that you germinate seeds. I know that your pennies won't grow if you put them in a jar for five years, like I used to do. I don't think any bank in the world will pay you 10,000% per month on your pennies. So you have to take matters into your own hands and grow your pennies until they're dollars, and grow your $1 bills until they are $20 bills, grow 20s until they're hundreds, and so on. If you grow a tomato and it weighs half a pound, it could be worth a dollar, but it has 50 seeds in it worth $5 to someone who just wants to buy 20 or 30 seeds and will pay $2.75 plus shipping. You can mail 30 seeds for about 50 cents. And what do these vendors charge for shipping? They charge $2 or more and only give you free shipping if you spend $50 with them. This is typical. So they make almost as much on the shipping as they do on the seeds. I put a value on the seeds purchased in small quantities at 10 cents each. I think that's a reasonable value to use based on what I've seen in the marketplace. The tomato can be purchased in the grocery store for a dollar and weighs half a pound, has 50 seeds in it, and they are worth more than the tomato, five times more. So don't worry about getting stuck with seeds. They have value and they will keep for a few years. But you're not going to keep the seeds. You want to plant them and let them give you $20 in tomatoes because $20 is more than 10 cents, isn't it? My point is that we have a tomato cycle which starts with seeds and winds up with seeds. Because the value increases at each stage of development, you don't lose anything when you get stuck with your unsold items. A ripe tomato that does not sell still has value in the seeds and the value of the seeds is far more than the value of the ripe tomato. If someone wants to eat your ripe tomato and is willing to give you a dollar for it, assuming that it weighs half a pound and is worth just two dollars a pound, then you sell it. And if you don't sell it, you can dry the tomato and eat it later. Or you can take the seeds, dry them, and start a new crop of tomatoes. But don't forget to eat the tomato after you take the seeds out. Removing the seeds gives you some benefit, but there's still some benefit left in the pulp. The seeds can last five years under the right conditions, so they are currency. They can grow faster in value than any bank account in the world. They can also be used in the next round of tomato plants, so you're not poor if you get stuck with tomato plants, tomatoes, or seeds. I see four stages beginning with seeds, then the four-inch plant, then the mature tomato plants with ripe fruit, and finally back to seeds to complete the cycle. I see a fantastic growth rate in the money you invested. When you turn a penny into a dollar in 30 days, you earned 10,000%. And when you turn that dollar into $20, your original penny grew 200,000% in just 85 days or so. This isn't even a quarter of a year. When you get stuck with ripe tomatoes and no buyers, you still have seeds that are worth $200, and there's always next year to plant them. That $200 came from a penny, and it all happened in 85 days. What's the growth rate on that investment? Two million percent. Now let's look at the Christmas tree. Here's what you get for Christmas. You're a millionaire in month four, a billionaire in month six, and by month seven, you're a trillionaire. I'm guessing you will quit before you reach trillionaire because seven months is way too long to work when you have 10 billion in gold stashed away. Some people are so lazy that they'll stop working when they reach the first million, if you can believe that. I started this video telling you how you can make two grand a day and look where we are now. You're a trillionaire and Bernie Madoff is in prison. Poor Bernie.
He ran off with all those investors' money when he could have raised tomatoes. Thank you.